Hey guys, what's up? The big news that broke last night is that the new Bitcoin Legal Defense Fund is officially launched. What do I mean? Well, obviously when there's open source software being built, the developers, they don't work for a corporation. They don't necessarily get paid a normal salary like you would at a corporation. And so ultimately those individuals, they're basically individual contributors to this open source project. And that leaves them susceptible to all sorts of legal pressure. What do I mean? Well, if you were to be a software developer at a place like Facebook, Google or Amazon, and anyone wanted to come after you legally for the work that you were doing, those companies have internal counsel, external counsel, they have big balance sheets, and they can help protect you from those legal pressures. But when you're an open source developer, that isn't necessarily true. There's someone out on your own. And so last night, there was an email that went out to the Bitcoin developer list from Jack Dorsey and Health and Academic and the Chain Code Labs co-founder all coming together and saying, we are going to start the Bitcoin Legal Defense Fund. Now, this is a nonprofit that's going to provide funding to those open source developers or people working on open source Bitcoin projects. What their idea here is that it's going to be staffed by volunteers and also by part time lawyers. And ultimately, they're going to help people devise legal defenses. They're going to pay for outside counsel to help you find outside counsel. And literally, they're going to spend their time trying to get you to not worry about the legal pressure that you're receiving if you are a Bitcoin developer who has come under legal pressure. And instead, they want to free you up so that you can spend your time focused on something more important, which is contributing to Bitcoin, other Bitcoin related open source projects. I generally think this is a pretty good idea. I think that it'll be very, very well received in the community. What I found interesting was that the announcement also explicitly said, they do not need more funding. Maybe in the future they will, but it is being funded right now. And so either that means that the three individuals who are going to be on the board, the Bitcoin Legal Defense, are contributing enough capital to go ahead and cover it, or they've already raised other capital into the vehicle. And over time, we may learn who that's from. But ultimately, Bitcoin developers are the heartbeat of Bitcoin. They are the ones who are writing the code. They are the ones who are ultimately making sure that this open source project is able to grow to global adoption. So the idea of providing legal services to them free of charge via the Bitcoin Legal Defense Fund is a great idea. Kudos to Jack and everyone else for doing this. And I hope to see more and more people starting to realize that there's things that you can do, whether you're technical or not, to help contribute to the success of Bitcoin over the coming decades.